Let us discuss adjusting the slices in the axial, coronal, and sagittal screens and using the crossbars with manipulation of the slices and also obliquing the various different uh, slices as well. First, uh, in the axial screen, one may adjust the slices by simply clicking the left click of the mouse. Notice here the double arrow icon. I'm just clicking my left click of the mouse and scrolling all the way down here in the axial plane. The other method is you could grab the horizontal pink line here in the coronal plane. If you, if you click it right here, notice the double arrow, left clicking it, and slowly dragging it to the superior uh, plane as we're moving upward through the mandible, through the crowns of the teeth, up through the occlusal plane, through the maxilla, and of course up through the lower maxillary sinuses. Okay. Now to reset the position, one simply needs to click the reset button right here it, and that resets back to the default position. If you choose the individual screens to magnify them by themselves you can simply double click it loads up in this case the axial screen. You can double left click again it takes you back to the four on one format this being the 3D image axial, coronal, and sagittal. Same thing for the coronal screen however you can also go this direction and select these icons in the right hand corner. So if we wanted to just select coronal we can simply press the C and we've got the coronal section highlighted. For sagittal just click the letter S you've got sagittal. Again A for axial or if you want to go back to the original double left click it or you can simply click this icon with the four screens here and click it once and you get back to the original default positions. Now here's an excellent way of adjusting the crossbars and lining them to a section that you wish and lining all three views into one section. Now the crosshairs in the middle of the um, colored lines can be adjusted. There's two ways to do this. The easy way is if you hold the Alt key next to the space bar on the keyboard. Here is the mandibular canal on the right mandible. Now once we select it, notice the caliper. I'm putting it right over the mandibular canal and I'm going to left click it into position. Left click puts it into position. What I do now is go up to the axial plane. In the vertical blue line there is a circle. It's called anchor point. So from the anchor point I'm going to left click my mouse and I'm going to drag this line parallel to the right side of the uh, mandible. And in addition to doing that we are looking in the sagittal projection. And here you can see the mandibular canal coming up very nicely. Now if one wishes to move buccal lingually you can go back to the center point and notice the four arrows here in the axial screen. Once I left click that I'm going to drag it either buckle or center and back to the lingual portion. And again we're looking at this with the sagittal and also the coronal views. So that is a beautiful way. Now you can do this for any part of the dentition and line this in three projection. I particularly like to line it in the um, uh, get the coronal view and put the vertical blue line in line with the side that we're looking at. If we were looking at the left side, quickly can go there. Uh, here we find the mandibular canal here. I'm pressing the Alt key, left click it. I'm just going to take my blue line and put it parallel to the left side. And once we do that, we can find the mandibular canal over here on this particular side. I'm going to right click to center this. And you can also move this buccal lingual to get a, a better projection and oblique from the anchor point to make a more elongated view. And one can get a nice beautiful view of the mandibular canal in that, this projection as well. Let's demonstrate a secondary area of concern using this technique. Here I'm going to grab the pink line. And I know about this section so I'm going to go right to it. I'm going to scroll up in the in the coronal look in the axial projection here we see the root tips I'm spe specifically paying attention to the left side here is an area of suspicion and concern again I'm going to press the alt key click it down right into that position and here we have both in the axial coronal and sagittal projections an area of suspicion perhaps an abscess we're going to take again the anchor point on the blue line rotate this very slightly so it's aligned to the left side and here we have the view in the coronal, I can double click and slice through, double click or go to the sagittal projection, load up sagittal in this regard, the alternate way of doing that, and then slice with the middle wheel the trackball back and forth and one could get a nice projection uh, as we're multi-slicing through here in sagittal projection. And again, by doing the Alt key we have it in all three views. That's the beautiful thing about using the Alt key and selecting it in all three views. Go back to the original position, we press the reset button. If one wants to turn off the crossbars, you go up to the right-hand corner toolbar, 
to the four squares with the enable or disable crossbar and then you just click it off or on it's like a toggle switch so if you don't see crossbars come up to this section turn them off or on that should conclude it for this particular section on using the crossbars and the manipulations in the three planar views